Hey Jeffy, your favorite queen of K-pop. Oh, whoa, whoa, what happened? She's only 38 years old and then she has this condition called the osteonecrosis in the knee. Oh, too bad. I don't know what is it. Let's check out from the doctors. Yeah, better. Doc, what is acute osteonecrosis? Oh, acute osteonecrosis. That's a very, very uncommon condition. It can affect different parts of the body, such as the femoral head and maybe the scaphoid bone in the wrist. Even more rarely than uncommon, it can also affect the knee. What about knee osteonecrosis? What are the signs to offer? Well, that's an interesting topic. So, spontaneous no osteonecrosis of the knee, also known as SONK, S-O-N-K, it can cause knee pain, swelling, difficulty with walking. Nobody really knows what causes it. Though. Hey, Dr. Tony, is it a genetic or lifestyle induced? It can be genetic, it can be lifestyle induced. But as I said, most commonly is lifestyle induced, like drinking too much alcohol or deep sea diving. People who go deep sea diving, they have increased risk of osteonecrosis. Or people who use steroid, they have increased risk of developing osteonecrosis. How long does it take for the symptoms to manifest into a serious medical condition? Everything starts with mild symptoms. Mild symptoms in the knee, for example, is very common. Not necessarily caused by osteonecrosis. But if knee pain is not getting better, it is best to get an MRI scan. With MRI scan, you can detect everything including osteonecrosis in the knee. It can be a serious condition.